So for those of you who don't know, there's a video game out there called The Coffin of Andy and Lele. Uh, me personally, I've never played the game. I have no idea what it's about. I've seen a few uh, bits and pieces of it on the internet. The ones that are circulating still sort of everywhere. It, it was bigger about a month ago or so. But apparently, uh, the game was problematic according to Twitter, which we, as we all know, uh, Twitter is never wrong. Uh, Twitter being mad at something is also never wrong, you know. Uh, so, as we all know, this creator is the next incarnation of Hitler and should be uh, arrested and thrown in jail for the rest of their life. I'm kidding, of course. This is just the internet uh, having a field day with its power. Uh, apparently, nobody learned the lesson from Uncle Ben that great power comes great responsibility. Uh, just sort of slipped the minds of everybody on Twitter. So let's back up here. So uh, this game is considered problematic because it involves, from what the internet has said, uh, you can sort of have an incestuous relationship with your sister in the game, or maybe there's like a, a cutscene or something that in insinuates you did do that. Again, guys, I didn't play the game, so don't take my word for it. Please do your own research. Um, but it, is that is that worth doxing somebody? Because the, the person who created this, apparently a woman had their information doxxed uh, within the last hour or two of me starting this recording. Uh, just look at the date of this video and, you know, if you're watching this like months later or something. But it, it's mind-blowing to me that this is the route that we're going now. Instead of just going, um, you know, hey, I don't agree with this game or I don't like this game and just moving on with your life. Instead of doing that, you go out of your way to find the creator's information and then dox them and in fact according to the creator uh they're not going on the internet ever again they've scrubbed uh their entire internet uh i guess all the stuff they put on the internet including some old games they uh, apparently made in the past i didn't even know this that they made other games so you know the the ability to try those out is either going to be completely gone or i'm going to have to i guess uh i don't know uh, pirate it if anybody decides to upload those games for people to download, you know, but it, it's just, it's, it's very, it's very sad. It's, it's very sad that this is where our society has led us, where we are so comfortable with, you know, I don't agree with this person. I don't agree with this take. So instead of just, you know, not even going out of their way to try to sit down with this, the creator of this and, you know, hear, hey, what's, you know, explain yourself. Why did you do this? Blah, blah, blah. We go to the much easier route of just getting them completely off the internet. Like, I, I hope all the people who did this are, are, are proud of yourselves. You know what I mean? Like, look, I'm not here to defend the game. I'm not here to defend the things that the game was talking about. But I am here to defend somebody who clearly didn't do anything wrong. You know, it, it would be like getting mad at somebody for including a, a grape scene in a movie. It's like, it's just a movie, dude. You know, and in this case, it's just the game, guys. You don't have to like the game. That is perfectly fine. If you think the game is a complete pile of shit, it's one of the worst games you've ever played, that is perfectly okay. You have every right to go on YouTube, to go on Twitter, to go on Instagram, TikTok, whatever you use, and tell the entire world, bro, this game sucks. This is the worst game I've ever played. But it is not okay to then find out the creator's information and literally harass them off the internet and possibly make this poor woman again apparently the creator's a woman i i can't you know confirm this and it really doesn't matter what their gender is you know look guys it's just to wrap the video up here and not ramble on for 20 minutes it, it's just extremely sad to me that this is the route that we are slowly turning everything into uh, it's not going to shock me at this point that somebody is going to dox somebody, swat somebody, kill somebody over a d literal difference of opinion. Me personally, I believe that the people who doxed her should have uh, a mandatory five to ten year sentence in jail. I, I think that right there would help quell a lot of this and make people think twice before doing it. Obviously, criminals are still going to do criminal things. Obviously, people are still going to break the law, no matter what laws you put in place. But I think there needs to be much, much, much stricter laws when it comes to 
uh, people's privacy being thrown out there. You know, look what happened recently with the Sniper Wolf situation. I don't mean to keep bringing that up, but seriously, you know, you've got so many people are so just quick to just just ruin somebody you do people do everybody who did this you have ruined this poor innocent developer's life who at this point before all this happened looked like was actually going to be doing pretty well in life this was somebody who from their point of view after the success of this game was probably thinking man now i can you know start making this game and that game but now they're probably never going to come back to the internet they they could have probably been the, the the person that makes the next minecraft for all we know and because of this, they're never going to come back, and it's it's just, it's very depressing, and it's very sad. So anyways, though, uh, I'm going to cut the video here. Uh, leave your thoughts down in the comments, guys. You know, uh, I genuinely do want to hear what you think about this. Anyways, though, guys, this is Snowman. I'll see you later. Have a nice day.